Hey guys, so we're back for another one. Today we're going to be recording a video on imaginary numbers, really a calculator trick for the ACT math when it comes down to imaginary numbers. Anytime I show this to a student, it absolutely blows their mind because it's essentially making all of these questions completely free. So grab your TI-84 plus, really this one right here, and let's get to work. The first thing that you're going, to go, you're going to want to do is put your calculator into A plus BI mode. So first press mode right here. And then you're going to go down to A plus BI right next to the real option. Again, A plus BI. And then you are going to press enter on A plus BI. Now that your calculator is in A plus BI mode, I want you to quit out. Really, you're just going to press second mode. Quit out and then press the alpha variable button. So first press that alpha green button right there. My middle finger is pressing that alpha green button. And then press the button right next to it, really the variable button, just the X button. That should give you a fraction bar. If it doesn't give you a fraction bar, try this trick. It's alpha Y equals and then enter. Again, if my um, fraction bar trick didn't work, the shortest way is just pressing alpha and then the variable button. If that doesn't work, please press alpha, then the Y equals button, and then just press enter. You should find yourself with a beautiful fraction bar like that. A lot of my students don't even know about that fraction bar and it helps you so much with fractions. Really, anytime you're dividing anything, quadratic formula or anything, helps a ton. From there, the next step that you're going to need is this piece right here. Really, how do you get an I? Where is I on your calculator? You're actually going to be pressing second and then the period button all the way down here where my thumb is. Again, how do you get an I? You press second and then the period button. So with that new skill, let's come down here and try two questions. So quit out of that screen and let's try two questions really from um, really towards the end of the ACT. They think that these questions are tough, but your calculator does it for free. Try number 46 with me. All you have to do is on your home screen, put a parenthesis, put four plus I squared. Again, how do you get I? I is second period. Let's put that in together. Let's do it in real time four plus I square, and you get J, 15 plus I, 8I. How easy was that? Beautiful. That was 46, come over here and try 56. And this skill works for any, this trick works for any imaginary number questions on the ACT. Let's try this one. Well, this one actually is a fraction. In that case, what are we gonna do? We're gonna use that cool little hack. We're going to make that fraction bar that we talked about earlier. So make your beautiful fraction bar and then just fill it in. Fill it in with two minus I and then negative three plus I on your home screen. You're gonna press enter and voila, the answer is K. This skill does show up on the ACT all the time, so please make sure that you are capable of doing it. And the beauty of this is you only have to put it into this mode once into A plus BI mode. Once it's in A plus BI mode, you never, ever have to play with it ever again. And it really, it works for all um, levels of math. In other words, you never have to switch it back out of A plus BI. Just leave it there. So that's another quick little hack for the ACT math, really showing you how to use your TI-84 for imaginary numbers. Check me out on the next video and I'll see you guys soon.